This is Steambook Star is in Aberstreet.com. This is a brief update for April 3rd, 2015. Uh, about an hour ago, I had a rude awakening from a prank caller, and it's related to the Doctor Whovian podcast because uh, the first time this person called me, it was like 610 area code, I think. Uh, I don't have my phone. I was looking for my phone, but I don't have it on. I have it on charger. Uh, far away, but um, it was a California number that called me, and I thought, okay, it might be somebody related to the job interview that I have today, but no, it wasn't. It was somebody very juvenile using a pre-recorded message uh, that said something about, do you know how to spell, and then there was a bunch of garbled audio, and it just kept repeating, do you know how to spell? And I was like, okay, somebody's prank calling me or somebody's being an idiot. Somebody got my telephone number off my website, off my YouTube, which I, I put on there because I'm trying to sell hats, trying to sell art. And I think maybe in the rare occasion that somebody might want to buy something, they have a way of contacting me and talking to me and arranging a meetup. But uh, so I hung up like I do on most prank calls and they, I called again like a, a couple minutes later. And... They were using a soundboard from the Doctor Who podcast. So this is Matrix uh, Lord uh, 212. And then it, it clip goes to another sl uh, sound clip. Let me explain about the attacks that you had two weeks ago. I'm like, okay, this is some idiot um, using a soundboard that he created from the... Um, from the show, from the podcast show that I was in, and playing it back at me, and they're not even directly talking to me, they're using a freaking soundboard. So I was like, okay, you're an idiot. So I just ended up hanging up. I'm like, I'm not going to reciprocate. I'm not going to feed the trolls. I know people do a lot of prank calls online where they use a soundboard to confuse the person, and I, I caught on immediately. Um, there's a Duke Nukem one, you know, like the Duke from the Duke Nukem video game on the YouTube channel. You can look it up online. It's hilarious, but I just wasn't in the mood to be a part of a prank. I'm, I'm just waking up and I'm trying to get ready for a job interview today at three o'clock p.m. Um, I've got my. Uh, I yesterday was exhausting. I didn't get to do any computer maintenance at all because. By the time I went to my storage unit, I had to go through, look for some clean clothes. I had to rearrange my storage unit because I had things literally stacked to the ceiling in there, the little tiny 5x5. Five five. And uh, I had to look, I, I, had, I could have sworn that I'd had a suit that I hadn't worn in years, that I had to look through one of my pieces of luggage that was in the back of my storage unit, so it was very tiring, and I was moving a lot of stuff around, doing a moderate amount of heavy lifting, and it wore, between that and carrying two heavy, uh, one heavy piece of luggage and a heavy backpack uh, through the bus stops and the metro and getting to the hotel uh, was exhausting. And so by the time I got back into the hotel around four o'clock yesterday, I was tired and I was beat and I went to sleep. Uh, so I didn't get any computer maintenance done, but I did get some well-deserved rest, and uh, I didn't even have a freaking tie. I'm not very good at tying ties, so I had to look it up online. I had forgotten how to tie a tie, so I had to loop it and get it ready. I got my suit there. I had to make sure it fit, and I was almost, I almost uh, went to a thrift store to get another one, but I'm glad I didn't because I had this one that fits, and I have a pair of slacks that fit. Um, I've lost some weight recently, so I'm actually able to fit into some older clothes. My waist is shrunk. But, uh, yeah, so I'm getting ready for the job interview at 3 o'clock. Um, I'm, we would love to go to WonderCon today, but the job interview takes uh, preference over going to WonderCon. I will go to WonderCon tomorrow. So those of you who are fans, and occasionally I've met fans, I've met a couple of fans at uh, VidCon. I met a fan that was on the shuttle bus to LAX. Um, occasionally, I, I do meet my fans. I know I don't have a lot of uh, hardcore fans because I 
have less than 500 subscribers, but I'm approaching 500 subscribers, and so I have a, a niche hardcore following, and it would make sense that I would meet some of my fans at a convention. So if you guys want to meet me, who the few of you who follow me or watch me or subscribe to me, uh, just say hi and say, hey, I watched you online, and I will give you an art dollar. I will definitely give you an art dollar. I have a, a special edition in memory of Leonard Nimoy, and uh, that's about it. Um, anyway, I need to get ready. I need to, to hustle about and get stuff done, and... I will talk to you guys later. This is Steve Puckstar is at Amberstreet.com. You have a nice day, and I will see you 25 billion years. I will.